If you've always wanted to shoot expired film, but you're not sure what the results are gonna be, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna shoot some film that's five, 10, 15, and 20 years expired, show you the results and show you how I got those results. I'm also gonna tell you what it is that matters when it comes to expired film, how to make sure that you're getting the right thing when you're buying expired film and make sure that you're not gonna get any shit shots. The two biggest things that will impact how your film looks after all these years is the ISO of your film. So if it's a high ISO film, then it'll start to degrade quicker than if it's a low ISO film. And the biggest thing near enough is how your film has been stored. So if your film has been stored in a fridge or a freezer for all this time, then it'll be in much better condition than if it's just been on a windowsill or something like that. If your film's been stored in a hot or damp place, then there's a really good chance that your film has gone to utter shit. If it's been stored in a fridge or a freezer for 20 years, then your film could be pretty much as good as new. And finally, if your film has just been stored in something like a cupboard or something like that, in somewhere that's got normal temperatures, then your film will probably have to be slightly overexposed depending on how much time it's been left for. The problem with my film was that I don't know how it's been stored. I just bought it off eBay. And that's probably gonna be the case for most of you guys. So I'm gonna try and treat it as if that film has been stored in quite a happy medium. So I'm gonna go for being stored in a cupboard or whatever for however long. I don't know that's the case. Some of this film could be stored in a really hot place and it could have ruined it but I'm just treating it as a baseline happy medium. One big thing you can take into consideration is where you bought it. I'm in the UK, so mostly the temperatures are pretty low, and so it's not likely that I'm gonna have really humid weather or really hot weather. So that's what I took into consideration. If you're buying it from someone secondhand in the tropics or something like that, then there's a higher chance that that film might be more degraded. Just before I go ahead, I did quite a bit of research into this and I ended up using an article from a website called Emulsive where they were basically saying that you don't have to overexpose as much as people say and it depends, as I was saying before, on how it was stored and what kind of ISO your film is. Those are the two biggest things that impact how your film degrades over time. So I'll leave the link to that Emulsive article down below and you can check that out if you want to read on this further. So for the five year out of date film, I decided to not overexpose whatsoever. I thought this is not that long to affect it dramatically. I wasn't really expecting to lose much sort of contrast or anything like that and not much sensitivity because it's only 200 ISO film. If this was 400 or above, then there's a chance that I might have had to do something different with it and maybe overexpose a bit or might have just left it totally. Unfortunately, you can't even see what the film was that I used, but it was mainly like really cheap. Um, I can't remember what it was called, like Vista or something like that. I don't know, it wasn't Kodak anyway. Um, so it's nothing special. I had some 10 year out of date film as well. And I only wanted to overexpose that by a very small amount because I just thought it just doesn't need that much. And I think I got it right in this occasion. Not every picture is gonna be perfect, but I was happy enough. Around the 10 year mark is where I would try to be a bit more aware, especially if you've got higher ISO film. It's much more safe in the 200 ISO and below range. So that's what helped me make that decision. So I think I overexposed it by like half a stop. So with the 15 year old film, I overexposed it by two thirds of a stop, uh, roughly anyway. So I wasn't really trying to heavily overexpose it. And I think generally people say you should overexpose it by a stop per uh, decade. So this is still not really following what people tend to say you should do. As I say, I don't know how this was all stored, so it can vary, but because I'm, I'm just assuming that everything was stored in a fairly normal way, not in a fridge, but not in ultra heat, um, I'm going off of that assumption. So about two thirds of a stop, overexposed. And I think these generally came out pretty good. Nothing was, you know, crazy great. Nothing was crazy bad. And obviously you're not gonna get like the absolute quality that you would have got if it was 
the first time you'd ever shot it if it was fully in date. But it's not like every picture's foggy or every picture's ruined. It turns out for the 20 year old film, I actually only overexposed it by the same as the 15 year old film. Perhaps I could have overexposed it slightly more and gone up to a full stop. And again, like I say, we don't know how it was stored. So we've got to go off the assumption that it was stored normally. That's the learning curve of this is understanding roughly where to go to unless you've got any more information on the film and how it was stored. If it was from the fridge, I probably wouldn't have overexposed the 20 year film at all. So shooting expired film is not an exact art and you can't always be absolutely certain. But if you go off of these rough ideas, then you shouldn't go far wrong. So don't really need to overexpose by film that's up to about five years old or five years out of date. You don't really need to overexpose much on 10 year out of date film, maybe half a stop, two thirds of a stop on 15 year out of date film, and maybe one whole stop on 20 year out of date film. Yes, it might vary. If you've had it in a freezer that whole time, then you probably don't need to overexpose nearly at all. And if it was really hot, then you might not want to shoot that film. That's my advice. If the film has been in a camera for years, then I would suggest probably try and get it developed, but it may be foggy and things like that due to light leaks and stuff like that. Sorry that this video wasn't the cinematic masterpiece that it would have been but i accidentally deleted all the footage now if you've been watching my videos before this video then you'll know that i recently started to recommend music at the end of my videos i just think it's a nice thing to do and i love recommending music i've recently been listening to an old jay-z song believe it or not called where i'm from and the reason i like this song is because in part of the song he says cough up a lung and I thought that was like a British thing. And apparently it's in this 90s hip hop song by Jay-Z. So I thought it was really interesting. It's actually a really good song as well. So check that out and also drop me a subscribe because you'll get song recommendations and watch me shoot in film and learn about it. I think that's a pretty sweet deal for a little tap on the old subscribe button.